All right, hey guys, what's up? It's Wolf Your One Only, and today we're gonna to be playing some Elude. Well, basically, we're gonna be doing fusion summons, talking about the new event. The new event is finally here, and it's basically just going through all this, doing these uh, character quests, and you can get a legendary book out of it. I haven't been doing it because I was, I thought I was gonna be doing a video on it as soon as it started, but you know, it, other games came out and kind of threw away that dude. <laughs> but I am done with the normal adventure. I am in hard mode now and doing NPC quests and stuff like that. Finally. I just took a little bit of motivation to actually do it though. <laughs> I've been farming gears and stuff, getting that all out. Ah, oh, nice. Finally got the fan. But yeah, been doing a lot with this account. Streaming now and then on stream but most of the time I'm playing VR chat now <laughs> two streams have not went well with VR chat just because like audio issues so I think I got it fixed tonight I'm gonna be playing with a with a buddy let's see fusion 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 there it is all right let's see if we get better fusions this, this week I was gonna wait it off but I think it's fine to just go on and do it now. Okay, it seems like I can only do a few. I only have a few. I should have probably just left that one off, but yeah, it'd be all right. What are we getting here? Okay, I don't know if you're good or not, to be honest. I see a few legendaries I didn't lock. Okay, I could just transcend the one I do have. Ah, hold on. Do I have any gear that I can sell? Nope. Well, actually, if they're epic, I can. That won't even give me enough. Darn it. <laughs> Here, I thought I had enough. But yeah, I'm also going to be doing a summon. Because there's also a new character along with this event. Uh, there is no, like, other table with this. This is pretty much it. Oh, you can get 200 also. I didn't realize that. Because I never pushed, pushed on a hard mode. It's already diff well, pretty decently difficult. If you, whoops. If you aren't leveled, or if you're just getting into the game. But if you go to hard mode, oh boy, yeah, you're probably going to need luck on that. Because later on in the hard quests for adventure, you know, power spikes come in. Wouldn't be surprised if the final stage had a power, power spike in it. It starts killing me over and over. I wouldn't be surprised. Alright, let's go do that summon. But yeah, this is the new character that just entered the game. I guess I'll just go ahead and just go straight to her and we can talk about her skills where is she there there she is but you guys know i'm a huge fan of pirates <laughs> and this character would be perfect for me i've already summoned like a few times no luck all right so normal attacks okay she attacks enemies that are adjusted on both sides Okay, so enemies adjacent just means that if you hit one enemy, it's going to hit whoever's, like, on the left or right. Well, left and right side. So, let's say if you hit the, the enemy on the far right who has just one person on his side, it's just going to hit that one person. It's not going to hit, like, three people guarantee on that. I, I know adjacent kind of confuses a lot of people when they get into, like, games that just use it often. Like... Knights Chronicle. And most people didn't know what that meant until they actually use it. It just really attacks up to three people if you're attacking somebody in the middle with two people on a side. Alright, special skill. Deals damage up to all up to ten times to all enemies and inflicts slow for three turns. If you enhance this, the max is up to forty-five. Alright, let's see. 
the ultimate skill deals damage up to 14 times. And all oh, she's the magic damage. Sure. Oh no, she's she's physical and magic. So her ultimate is magic. I like that. Having like somewhat of a universal character. But hits an enemy up to 14 times, deals magic damage, and afflicts weakened debuff that decreases attack by 50%. If you increase this, it goes up to 80%, which is not half bad. Alright, so let's get into passives. Passives, you increase your attack up to 5% upon any every enemy who is hit with the weakened effect. Or with a weakened effect. Ignores enemies weaken def weaken resist when attacking an enemy that is below 50% HP present prevents them from gaining weak. Oh. Actually that's really damn good now that I actually think about that. I like that. So it's just basically like, hey, dude, you can't resist my freaking debuffs. I never looked at the back, too. Kind of like the crest there. Sorry if my reading's all over the place, but just saying. <laughs> okay. Passive 3 increases the enemy soul consumption by one in each. Oh, hold on a second. So, if you throw this on, the, the attack speed down, and the attack down, enemies consume up to at least two. That's really good in PvP. That's actually insanely good in PvP, in my opinion. How's the variations look? Eh. Side. I think I like the blue a little bit more. Yeah, the blue definitely sticks out a little bit more. Okay, let's go see your actual stuff. This is one thing I do like. You can actually just increase the stuff just to see how it functions. Not only that, that the damage stays. This is pretty much base damage. Level 60. With no gears. Yeah, that could be good. I gotta restart that. I forgot. I do always carry times two on ultimates. Or times four, I mean. I don't know. I kind of like it. But that attack down is gonna be like a huge, huge difference in like PvE. Especially for bosses that are already hit like really damn hard. That's gonna make a huge difference. Tech speed down. Meaning you're gonna outspeed bosses on the next turns. In my opinion, she's not that bad. I'm not gonna get her anytime soon now. Just because my luck isn't like, you know, off the charts. I mean, I've been getting legendaries, but I haven't really been getting her though. Unfortunately. So unfortunate. I'm not really all that concerned about it. To be honest, it's not like she's a one-time character. At least I hope not. 
She better not be. I have quite a few scrolls that I can actually get done to. But yeah, overall I'm making some pretty good progress. In my um, boss battles, I've gotten through stage 7. So our highest is stage 8 now. I just need to get through these guys who I've barely fought. Just because I've really been thinking about their gears. But I finally replaced Owen with one of my favorite tanks. The only downfall for this tank is if you use his ultimate and there's already that AoE effect, I've noticed this on like fighting the foxes. AoEs can kill him so fast if you only have like, you know, level one. I would say you would need to definitely increase this, increase these like two skills a lot for you to actually have that full on survivability for this tank. Because having it at level one, oh my god, he's gonna get shredded. It's not even funny of how fast he he can die if there is an AoE attack that hits everybody and just absorbs all that damage to himself. So trust me. If you're gonna use him, try and max out his try and max out his two skills here. I would real mostly recommend maxing this out just for the defense down, you know, absorbing damage, getting a huge barrier. Then you would go into this, or you would go into this. Then this, but I wouldn't recommend doing that. I would recommend going sacred shield, then sacrificial barrier, because. Going this first can get you killed. Well, can get him killed. From what I've seen. <laughs> um, okay, what's wrong with my screen here? Where are all my characters? Okay, well. <laughs> but I do appreciate, like, all the support on Twitch, dude. It has been, like, really fun on Twitch as of late. Even though we're playing mostly, you know, VR chat, we mostly hop on a loon, do some dailies and stuff. Then we hop on VR chat or some other stuff. If you guys want to join me on VR chat, feel free to. I mean, you don't need a VR just to play VR chat. Okay. Uh, I've also been farming a lot of these now. I thought these things were kind of rare, but turns out, nope, all you got to do is get to hard mode and you just get piled up with them. I've gotten this gear. I don't know who to put it on yet. But this is everything I've got. Plus three. You can turn into plus two. I can make... Well, you can turn into plus one. I can make Mr. Undead McCrea here to plus two. But I'm not sure when I will actually have the resources to do that, considering that, you know... Yeah. Seeds are not easy to come by right now. I think it would take you like at least a whole week just to get one evolution of just one class. Hopefully they start giving it out in a different way. Because it is taking like way too long just to evolve characters. Versus like just fusing them together. But yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you all enjoyed. I will see you guys on the next one. I know, Alun videos are short. I mean, there's not nothing much to show off for me right now, at least. I was going to try and have like a palace, like fusions ready, but five stars take way longer to get up there for sure. <laughs> it, it definitely does. But I'll also make sure to have some gold prepared too. 
Alright, I'm gonna go do the rest of this event and have another summon ready by tomorrow. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys on the next one. Until then, peace out. See you next week.